Oh, here's Kanye West. I'm with the LV show. Being anti-Semitic. He's just colonizers. The French own 80% of the banks in Africa. That's why I just met with MBS, the head of Saudi. We don't have to bow to this. He said, he said the French are colonizers. True. That's why he met with Mohammed bin Salman, a monarch. Shit, nigga, we, okay, it's 60 million of us in America, 60 million Jews in the world. 50% of our deaths is abortion. 25% of us. This is crazy. It's just like, he's all over the place. Yeah, he's all Go over the place. Go to prison. Raise one hand if you don't know one in prison, one got locked up, and one poor. Wait, oh, raise your hand if you don't know, you don't know one person got abortion. Got now, now I'll tell you, now I'll tell you, if it was in a Jewish mother on Friday with no everybody raised their hands. So, but wait, wait, wait a second. But who got, but wait, wait, wait a second. Who make the hospitals though? Who, who got the hospitals? These are Zionists. He's mentally unwell. It's silly to analyze things he says. I agree. He's saying Zion has built the hospitals. He's literally way too much Farrakhan. No, this isn't even Farrakhan at this point. This is like, I, there is a little bit of Nation of Islam in there, but it's like more Nick Fuentes. I, I, I don't know. It's just like, I tried to unpack some of the shit that he was saying, and it's just so f it's like indecipherable he does the whole like obviously uh he's talking about jews but he says zionist because he thinks it's like slick this is gonna poison the well so hard for actual criticism of israel i was worried he would come back i think that there is a i mean i don't know i don't know about that i probably but i think most people understand like a dude saying he loves adolf hitler is very different. Kanye West is anti-Semitic. He's just straight up anti-Semitic. The idea that like he criticizes Israel is like secondary. Okay. He's very, this is a clear cut example of like actually very deliberately substituting the term Jew for Zionist. Something that is like cynically deployed oftentimes against actual anti-Zionists who are not anti-Semitic. But Kanye is definitely doing that. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Jesus Christ, Hitler, yay. Third party, sponsor that. Yeah. Bring us I mean, there, yeah, there you have it. There is no Zionism in his argument. Okay, there is no no interest in like criticizing Israel for its actions against the Palestinians. He doesn't give a fuck. I should shift to that because there's gonna be some that feel exactly like me. I don't give a. Fuck. I'm seven. I don't give a fuck about life or death. I, I get visitation with my kids. I ain't gonna say so. No. Just walking around like no, look like walking. soccer players. They don't even know. They don't even know they got the dad. The kid. Stop excusing his racism due to mental illness that wait what i never said that i'm not excusing this what the fuck are you talking about i literally got banned for shitting on kanye west on a nazis on a neo-nazis platform last year around this time when he was popping off with his anti-semitic shit he just comes out once a year they feel me but they trying to program him the head of louis vuitton bernard arno you alexander arno you francois pino you dimna you balenciaga oh in my mama basement. I drew these mother shoes since I was in seventh grade. Cause when I asked nigga step up, not one nigga stepped up. Not one nigga stepped up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. None of the famous niggas, Mav Carter sold me out. Yeah, I wonder why, bro. Cause you're nuts. Like he's not listening to like one sane voice in his circle. He's purged his like immediate circle around. <laughs> wait, did he just wait? Hold on. Wait. Now one nigga stepped up. She says I did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. None of the famous Mav Carter sold me out. She said. She said I stepped up, and he was like, Yeah, but you know, no one famous or rich stepped up. It's also crazy to be like, oh, wow, I can't believe nobody's stepping up to defend me when I'm saying I love Adolf Hitler. Like, why the f*** would anybody do that? That's an insane thing to say. The problem is he doesn't recognize that, like, people around him who probably in private tried to get him to come to terms with uh, what is going on and the things he's saying are just, like, really, really awful. Like, 
Bro, Alex Jones was outflanking Kanye West and being woke. Every single right winger that he, whose show he went on kept trying to like change his narrative a little bit and massage it so it was like a little bit more appropriate. You got what I'm saying? Nobody f said y'all saw me and see my kids. All y'all rich niggas got y'all kids in that Zion school. F see Eric Kenyon. My my daughter ripped up the mother couches in the house to be able to be with me right now. Y'all don't know what's going on, for real. Where y'all TikTokin' and all that shit. Y'all put up with all that shit. I don't give a f I'm in Pop. I'm in Vegas, like Pop. My daughter had the Tupac t-shirt. So I'm saying, witness this shit. Visit this shit. But I don't believe in nobody but me. I don't give a fuck. Y'all don't gotta say we with you. You're not with me. No one's with me because no one's really with me. But it's just God. me and God. That's what I'm saying. And I'm still alive. Let's go. And he's and I'll Let's go. Let's go. You ain't post. You ain't. You ain't. When you ain't post. When I couldn't see my kids, y'all ain't post. Y'all ain't stop the Adidas. Y'all niggas let Adidas crash the richest did. nigga all time. Y'all know I did. Hey, Adidas was hey, begging. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I put up one tweet, and then Ari Emanuel put, "Oh, we got to drop this," and all niggas just watch. The only nigga that had the Trump hat. The only nigga that went and got them billions. The only breaking through all kinds of ideas and fashion. I've been called a f so many times for tight jeans. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Damn. I got, I got a from Chicago <laughs> that I take care of that she's still trying to sell me. Oh, trying to say I can't go to my Bro, the funniest part about this is like, he's like, dude, I was, you know, I saw a lot of oppression. People said I was gay for wearing skinny jeans. I've always been a revolutionary figure. Like when I wore skinny jeans and people said the no-no word, the F slur. <laughs> Take care right of me. Right now, yeah. your thing is what? Who, you who, and who you think? No, hold on, hold on. Who you think the old man called? Shut up. <laughs> you. We put, we put Drake on. We put Drake on stage. Who the old man called? You. You know what I'm saying? Does God put you in position? Just because I had a car. Everybody. You're the biggest best. That's what I'm trying to say to you yeah. right Vessel. now. Vessel. This is what y'all been waiting for. But honestly, it's like, this is what happens if you're, you know, if you're bipolar and then you are just straight up surrounded by only people that are feeding into your mania. Like, this is crazy. Drake, this is what you've been waiting for. Jay-Z, this is what you've been waiting for. Kim, this is what you've been waiting for. All you Look, let me tell you something. This is the way the world God works. God is Here. using him right now. Okay, be quiet for a second. I'll scroll for a second. <laughs> I love you both, okay? No, no, you got to get up Hey, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Come down, please. God. Yeah, he keeps telling her to shut the f up. God please. runs the world. Then under that, you got thousand-year-old families, Medici. Under that, you have the Vatican, the Pope. Under that, you have what? the financial groups that control all your sh The Black Rock, Rock, Rock Vanguard. Yeah. After that, you have Putin. You have Trump. You have all this sh And after that, you got what all this sh Entertainment. Hollywood. Bro said Medici. He put Medici upon the, the Vatican. Dude, it's kind of funny thinking that placing this level of control over the Vatican when the Pope is like gay and woke. Half the Catholics hate the Pope. Almost every American Protestant wants to kill the Pope for both uh, religious reasons and also now especially because he's woke. Meanwhile, like thinking the Catholic Church in the Vatican is in control of everything that's going on is such a funny like 90s era conspiracy theories you know what i mean like that's that's like the da vinci code shit, right anti-semitism but instead of jews running the world it's italians yeah this is like the most unfiltered italiophobia i've ever seen by the way like completely unacceptable the level of italiophobia is out of control folks take that run that back run into schools what also, is he wearing, like, is that the, the Albanian? Someone in the chat also pointed this out. I didn't want to say it. I don't want to put this on Al uh, Albanians, but what's going on with the fit? I'll give y'all one last thing before I go. When, when, you, when I first put the tweet up, I was dealing with a divorce lawyer. And I explained, I explained to the lawyer what my issue was. And his response was to me, if you keep up this anti-Semitic rhetoric, then you won't see your kids. Yeah, bro, because it spells to every court and every reasonable person that you are mentally unwell. It's not because of like Jews and the power that they have or whatever f thing that you think is going on. It's because people see that and go, oh my God, he's like out of control. Oh, he's wearing the German coat of arms. Yeah. I knew said I couldn't have an opinion 
or I wouldn't see my kids. Y'all know who y'all playing with? This is a vessel of God. He gonna burn all your shit down. I swear. I knew these niggas was trying to make surviving yay, surviving this way. That's why I sent it up while I was still in the high schools. Bill Cosby couldn't do shit by the time they got him. R. Kelly couldn't do shit by the time they got him. That's why I had to send it up. Because the same niggas that made him rich is the same doing the documentary. And cootie, fuck you. Because everybody saw that third episode. That's what the whole shit was about. Period. Me selling opioids. I'm not even bipolar and have signs of autism from the accident. They're going to hit me with a medication. Have a sell an opioid. Wait, what? He's saying he got autism after his car crash? What? Cootie is his friend who did the documentary, his old friend on Netflix. How do you get autism from a car crash? Like, I don't understand. It's for them. They made me the face of bipolar. Okay, big farmer, where are my royalties? A lot of drugs you just sold off of the idea of yay being bipolar. Don't say Right now. He's saying the last episode of the doc shows them spiraling and they were using that as a way to push big pharma onto the masses. It's kind of crazy that like, dude, I, when you are like a, like a multi-billion dollar operation as a singular force, especially when you are uh, a, a conduit for so many feelings that people feel and, and music is like one of these artistic expressions that, that is really personal and people do develop incredibly parasocial feelings towards those who make them feel these experiences. They're like, oh, he understands me. It's wild that like, even if you're a multi-billion dollar operation as a singular force, you could just like completely fall apart in broad daylight. God, dude, mental health is crazy and when you have when you have like you you are always going to find people that basically serve you whatever you want to hear it's it's so obvious it's so obvious that like he will always have a bunch of people around him that are like no 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 you're the right you're the goat king you're doing all the right things kanye say say whatever you want you're too bad yeah that's right it's not weird that she's naked all the time we love that we love that your wife is always naked and we never hear her speak we we think it's cool we love that jonah hill couldn't stop you from being anti-semitic we think that's sick please just me getting his donk sonked in venice italy in broad daylight i need your take i mean that part wasn't that bad that part was kind of cool it was in a boat i've also never heard the term donk sonked before which is very interesting yeah <laughs> You know what I'm they come here. So I think I think I pretty much wrapped up your token. Like, what are you, like, you going to say? Who are you? I'm yeah. just saying. They Shh, yeah, take out, take out, take out. Yeah, come on, yeah, take yeah. Out. Sorry, sorry. Come on, ready? I'm just saying. I was. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Come on. Take. They can make him. Uh, yeah. So that that's pretty crazy. I mean, look, artists live and die on the sword. You know what I mean? If if his next album slaps, a lot of mother. They're going to be like talking about how much they love Hitler. If it doesn't, his is, life is Jover. It's so Jover. It's completely Jover. I, I think uh, people still worship him for the celebrity status, for the superstar status, for the for the music that he has made and how they felt when they listened to it. Wait, there's a second part where he talks about Trump? No way. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The, the level, you can say, we still, they cut out, they, they stop. They stop famous ass rappers from going in. Motherfuckers didn't get permits tonight. Nicki Minaj didn't clear her verse. That's why I say ain't nobody with me. Cause y'all just see that Y'all see me not see my kids. Y'all see Nicki Minaj not clear her verse. Y'all see Adidas uh, drop billions of dollars and shit, And no one says nothing. No one is outraged. No one said, no one is with. If you want to be, okay, whatever. It's cool, I, I, I'll be fine for that. When a motherfucker tell me they love me, it make me feel funny cause I feel so much hate bro when them all tell me y'all respect me i feel funny because I, I feel so much rape bro i feel so much rape what when the last time you see me around one on salary i don't know what a friend is Okay, but like, problem is like, how does he have people around him? No, he's saying it. Like, he even recognizes it himself that uh -huh. like, he recognizes it himself that the people around him, he's paying and they're sick of fans. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This really some years of Britney Spears. Yeah. The same paparazzi that I slam. It's because anyone that has like, anyone that has any semblance of like, authority in his life, Kanye stands for the past two years, besides the Hitler part, he was spitting straight facts. 
Hats. I thought separating the R from the artist was some bullshit till my goat started talking about those Hugo Boss uniforms. <laughs> CDLRG, still the greatest album series of all time. You just got to scroll past these videos of yeah on the timeline real fast. <laughs> I is back. Trump is back. It truly is Christmas. All right, let's hear what uh, Anthony Fantano had to say. Even though he gave Nicki Minaj a three, we're going to listen to him here. Age for Kanye and Ty Dolla Sign's new album, Vultures, is now down off stream. Who cares about that? Let's talk about how Kanye is still on this Nazi sh so as some of you guys have probably seen, uh, he's been placing this very particular double-headed bird crest in numerous visuals uh, around the promotion of the record, and it is very much giving German nationalism vibe. It's so weird that he's doing that, because like that's what the AFT do AFD does, right? Because they're cucked by German hate crime laws. It's not weird. It's kind of nothing. He does make sense. No, he's doing this thing that like, like AFD supporters do, where they can't us fly the swastika so they fly the german coat of arms and like the old the, the old german flags and shit as a ha huh, see like i'm doing this it's so f stupid especially because he's not exactly subtle vibes there is also of course the album art yeah the vultures album art and also the vultures like this is straight up burzum obviously like someone is feeding him all the nazi memes i don't know why i don't know where he's getting this from this is like esoteric nazi memes that you only know if you're you only know this kind of stuff if you like follow this shit like i do you know what i mean you have to have a dude in your corner that's like really f grimy and really nerdy about hiding nazi stuff in visuals like a like a milo Yiannopoulos type dude you know what i mean the old english font sorry not gothic which is very clearly ripping off the album art of burzum a Scandinavian black metal artist who has uh, very publicly voiced white supremacist views. Meanwhile, the landscape itself depicted here on the album cover was done by a German artist who at one point was very much favored uh, by the Nazis, yeah. which you can read right here below. And let's be clear, he had nothing to do with them personally. Uh, he died long before they were in power. So Kanye is very much doing this weird white supremacist breadcrumbing once again. Two things. One, don't allow his annoying ass fan base or really cult, because that's what his fan base is at this point, a cult. Don't allow them to gaslight you into thinking that it's not happening and it's not real and it doesn't exist. It is real. And two, why is Kanye doing this? And it's got to be for one of two reasons. One, Kanye not too long ago went on that whole, you know, white supremacist jaunt where he was palling around with white supremacists and endorsing Hitler. And now he just wants to work race. Oh, yeah. He wore a, a f clan robe, dude. Kanye West wore a Ku Klux Klan inspired hood at the rave listening event for his new Vultures album with Ty Dolla Sign. It's a symbolism into his art as a means of maybe disarming any criticisms that people might still have around it. Like the difference between imagery such as this, especially coming from a prominent black artist, is obviously he's like pro Nazi. That's the difference. Because like Black Skinhead as a song or or what do you call it? Like uh, Kanye West has uh, criticized the clan before right in the past this is very different than like roger waters wearing a fascist uniform to criticize fascism as a part of his commentary right because he's anti-fascist whereas for kanye west like sure there was a lot of times when he actually uh criticized uh white supremacy and and the clan and whatnot uh but but now his perspective has shifted dramatically so this is not like him taking artistic liberties and in my opinion on the clan or anything like that it's more so he's just straight up promoting it and and trying to trying to uh, hype it up as though it is like a like a solid aesthetic choice which honestly only an idiot would fall for and is a coward's way of kind of stepping around the necessity to apologize for and fess up to the things that you said and the things that you did and the other possible option is that he actually believes in this stuff and thinks it's true either way it's not good yeah, he's out of he's out of his mind. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I just don't know what like kind of impact this will have on like a broad swath of the population that has loved his music and continue to promote him. Clamped at the airport when they gave me my first piece of medication was the exact same paparazzi that photographed Britney. TMZ, 30 mile zone. That is what Hollywood is. Once you go in there, them is around you, they go surround you. They in charge. He's an artist. Stop trying to logically dissect art. Wait, what do you mean? You're just saying stop trying to dissect art? What are you talking about? That's like, what good is art then? Charge of that shit. They in charge of your f 
narrative. They in charge of your bank account. They in charge of your cars. They in charge of your record labels. They in charge of your football contracts. They in charge of your houses. And I'm saying, they coming to me really like working me talking about some. Where you going? I'm gonna apologize. When they gonna apologize to me? When they gonna apologize to us? Yeah. Facts. And that's not just it. The communities, nigga, it's so many acres in America. We don't have to stay in the inner city. We don't have to stay on top of each other. They motherfuckers made the Twix double the size trying to make us fat. They doing this inclusive shit. They just made that girl Paloma the head model. They trying to push uh, obesity to us. They try to, they put us in a McDonald's commercial. They put your brother in a McDonald's commercial. They try to put me in a McDonald's commercial. McDonald's kills you, my They not putting healthy shit. You could grow food right off the side of the ground, my you don't gotta pay for this and f all this Chanel shit we do to impress going broke to impress other broke people, man. Yeah. The Chanel bag and any. Cut it. No, he's shitting on Chanel. Cut it. <laughs> um, the game we're playing is Lethal Company. Run. Hassan, Hassan, listen to me. What? The tree monster is gonna eat you. We could live our lives like cowards, or we could go make money. Go through there. Go in there. Okay, and then what? 